Yo, what's good, fans of Fight Fans? It's your boy JB, Trap House Boxing. Back again with another video. Hey, shout out to the LDBC. Hey, go subscribe to Urban Media Fix and hit the notification icon bell. Go subscribe to the Smoke City Mildcast. Okay, check this out, man. I was li I was listening to the interview with Jay Cooney with Fire Hype, man, and uh, Jay Cooney was basically talking about a lot of fights that he had wanted to see. And he brought up the uh, Triple G versus Canelo rematch, and you know he kind of said said what I've been saying all along about. Uh, Abel Fable Sanchez, man, that, I mean, <clears throat> look, man, when it, okay, I'm, I'm not saying, saying that Abel Sanchez didn't train world champion, that he don't know this and that, but what I'm saying is this, man, you got to question yourself, or you got to question the trainer, or even yourself as a fighter, if you sitting up here letting this guy you know, train you, and he just training you with a game plan, but it's only one game plan. It's, it's the, the game plans are never B, C, and D. It's always just A, and once A goes out the window, it's that's it. That's how it is with all his fighters. I mean, you guys act like y'all don't. I mean, people act like they don't see this, man. And then when you bring it up, people get pissed off. You know, I mean, are uh, some of these fighters that dumb or are they just, they just want to give, you know, Abel Sanchez their money, man, because when he's training these guys, these guys ain't making no adjustments. Prime example, Triple G. Triple G never never makes the adjustments hardly. Uh, he only does it, I'm, I'm talking about against elite level opponents. Um... Mariah Gassier didn't make the adjustment against Alexander Usyk. You know he didn't uh, cut off his cut off Usyk from pivoting to the right all night. You understand what I'm saying? Didn't close the distance. All falls on Fable Sanchez's shoulders, right? He's the trainer. Um, Alex Saucedo. All these guys that Abel Sanchez be training, they all have the same type of mentality. You understand what I'm saying? Get hit a lot. Don't make the adjustments. But, you know, it is what it is, you know. Like I said, when you call say, Favor Sanchez out on his stuff, you know, people think that you hating on him and all that, but it's not the truth, man. I mean, it's the truth. Jerry Coon even called him out. You know, Jerry, I mean, he basically just exposes him. But I'm going to let y'all hear it, man, firsthand. Tell me what y'all think. That fight. There's about 50 fights I love in the game right now. So, well, what's, what, what fights come to mind, like, as the number one ones Jerry Cooney wants to see? What? Well, that's one of them. Right. Mike I want to see Alvarez, Triple G. I mean, will you be in Vegas for that fight? I will be. Okay, Brady, I'll see you. Yes. Yeah. Any thoughts on that rematch? Or? You know, I'm, I'm thinking Alvarez, I mean, listen, Alvarez was, he said it was tainted me, whatever it was. He, he was messing around or something. And, uh, I mean, I was watching a soccer team in Mexico. They ate that meat. They weren't tested positive. So, does that affect him in the rematch? Is Triple G angry enough to, to train that extra mile and get that stamina up? See, so there you have it, man. Jerry Cooney just told you himself. <laughs> the guy did not have a game plan after game plan A. Didn't want to make no adjustments. He just said it. You know, so y'all let me know what y'all think, though, man. Y'all tell me, you know, I'm not hating. Just calling it straight how it is. 
Y'all let me know what y'all think. Leave your thoughts and comments at the end of the video. This is your boy JB, Trap House Boxing. What you waiting on? Subscribe to the channel. Like, share the video always. I'll holler. Peace.